Pisces couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Keep in mind, anything said in this reading can go vice versa. Just go ahead and apply it to your situation, how it resonates. And check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you need it. And um, let's get started. You can uh, contact me on Instant Go for those of you who are interested. The, the um, direct link to my profile is below in the description box. The Knight of Wands in reverse is your overall energy. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign possibly. All right. Um, let's take a look. I'm seeing Leo as well, specifically for fire signs. All right. Um, Pisces. You're dealing with someone that you feel is a bit inconsistent and unreliable. And you're starting to back down from this relationship. And you've been really worried and uh, mentally consumed by the idea of something. And you're trying to muster up the strength to make a decision, I suppose. Four of Swords. It doesn't literally mean to, well, yeah, it does mean to think, to meditate. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're thinking things through. You're really taking your time and you're, you're trying to make a very calculated move. But it's like the situation has become very overbearing for you emotionally. And it's start, really starting to take its toll. So you're pulling back emotionally from your partner. And they're starting to feel it. They're starting to feel the heartache and loss of this relationship. Yep. Yeah. Someone is really backed down and someone is really constantly thinking about how to get out. They're, they're planning and plotting their way out of the relationship. You know, this has been a relationship full of heartbreak due to a love triangle. So I'm seeing that there is like the two of you are going about your day to day life, kind of ignoring each other, not speaking um, kind of on a break, maybe under the same household, but really not interacting. And someone is maybe admitting that they're not in love anymore. Yeah. I'm seeing that there was indeed a third party. Someone came in and kind of disrupted the pattern of this relationship. And um, someone is trying to muster up the courage to be honest and say what it is that they really say, what they want to say. Something feeling like things have become unstable at home. And someone, yeah, definitely, they're, they, they're laying the plans to leave. Maybe this is work involvement, like you're looking for another job, some of you unleash your creativity maybe at work and you are taking on a new opportunity a new job all right well i'm seeing that there is really direct communication between the two of you like there's no mincing of words um and this can be very challenging this this energy is very intense and as far as communication it's like there's no communication but when the two of you do communicate it's intense. It's heated. Could be Aquarius for some of you. Okay. There's definitely someone spying. And someone is slowly losing hope in the outcome of this relationship being favorable. Capricorn here with the devil. Um, it's like you've been through hell with this person. And... You know, regarding this love triangle. So I'm seeing that someone is, is there's going to be grounds or reason for a celebration. Not yet, but at the end of this situation, because it looks like you have something else coming in for you. Something that's going to make you happy and more fulfilling. Or this is someone else wanting to move on to something that makes them more happy and fulfilled. There's been deception, dishonesty, and there's been confrontation about um, the truth because someone is really trying to keep something hidden 
So things are no longer in limbo. It looks like someone's definitely coming forward to be honest and admit that it's over. I'm saying that someone has been trying to decide between two paths for quite some time. And now someone is ready. They're they're equipped. They're ready. Um, they've got their plan together. And they're ready to go. They're geared up. Could be the mother of your child, father of your child. Some of you could be going to court, paying out for child support. There could be divorces, separations occurring. Um, there's been a lot of baggage accumulated. Um, someone's definitely... Yeah, I'm saying that final, um, what do you call it, ties, are, the loose ends are being tied up. And so there, someone's gearing up for the separation. And yeah, you've seen the red flags. They've been waving for quite some time. I think this story has been playing out for probably since November, December. So this is a story of unrequited love. There just wasn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. But I'm seeing that someone else has sparked someone's attention. It's probably the other party in the third the, in the love triangle. So I'm seeing someone wants to move on to a, to a new beginning with someone that they believe could be the one. And this is the person that they've been dealing with on the side. And through spying, you could have found out, you could have seen expressions of love that this person was sending to the other one, you know, or someone comes out to admit that they're in love with someone else. I'm also seeing new beginnings for you, Pisces. Okay, so you could be leaving a situation in order to start a new beginning elsewhere. Or this could be someone leaving you and you're starting a new beginning elsewhere. You may not see it yet, okay? You're trying to, to see it through faith, but you have something else coming in. So hold on to that faith after this person leaves. There's, there needs to be an end to this cycle in order for a new cycle to begin. You have the Wheel of Fortune. This is an end and a conclusion to this cycle, this karmic cycle. With the Ace of Cups, a new beginning following this. So I'm seeing that your passion is going to be ignited again. Partnerships and alliances, someone new is coming in for you. Yeah, maybe someone that you've even known before. For, some, for others of you, this is someone completely brand new coming into your life. So there is something waiting for you on the other side of this situation. Someone is very impatient and ready to go. And that impatience could also speak to someone's temper because I'm seeing a lot of uh, intense temperament here. Well, temperance, finding balance. Some of you could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius yeah, some of you with the Three of Pentacles, you're definitely changing locations for a job. Um, maybe some of you are going to be working in law. We have the Justice card in reverse. But this is also speaking of, um, yeah, endings, putting, you know, signing the final documentation uh, to separate, separate assets. Um, maybe custody battles. Having to pay out financially for children, child support. So I'm seeing that this is ending in feeling of disappointment, but I'm seeing that that the outcome doesn't have to be well. You know, it it is it is what it is. But I'm seeing that on the other side of this is positivity. There's an end to this conflict. On to new beginnings, on to something new that is more emotionally satisfying for you. So that is what I'm seeing for Pisces couples this week. Scorpio, too, with the death card. I'm seeing Taurus as well. And Aries with the Empress. All right, so that's what I'm seeing. 
You're tired of being undervalued. You're tired of being taken for granted. So it looks like you're laying out the final map. And you're moving on. Putting together the final pieces. Yeah. And realizing that you really do have options. And understanding that there's a rhyme and reason for everything that happens. Trying to find the optimism in the situation. Trying to look on the bright side of things. And, you know, redefining your confidence. And not allowing the situation to get you down and, and get the best of you. So that's what I'm seeing for Pisces for this week. All right, Pisces. Well, this has been your reading. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, my information is below in the description box. You can go directly to angelicascensionstarot.com to book your reading. Or you can reach out to me through the Instant Go app and the profile that my direct profile is below in the description box for that as well. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. No need to comment. You can comment if you feel. But uh, I know this is pretty intense and it's up to you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.